Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I yield myself such time as I may consume. Gentlemen, is recognized. Mr. Speaker, the Army has a surplus of pistols. The M1911A1 uh, 45 caliber pistol, uh, the Armed Forces standard issue sidearm for more than uh, 50 years, was replaced in the 1980s by a, by a newer model. Since then, the Army has accumulated stores of surplus M1911 pistols, which are housed at taxpayer expense in Alabama. Now, there's no national security reason to keep these pistols. The Army stopped issuing them uh, 30 years ago, yet the Army has uh, been prevented from disposing of them due to parochial interests tied to the Civilian Marksmanship Program, or CMP. The CMP's uh, proponents basically want to transfer the pistols to a private corporation so that it can sell them. So do we want this to happen? Well, we have the opportunity in, in this year's NDAA to stop this transfer uh, of, of tens of thousands of M1911A1 pistols, which continues uh, a, a multi-million dollar uh, government giveaway, actually should, which constitutes a multi-million dollar government giveaway. It's also important uh, to note that this would make our streets more dangerous at a time when gun violence is all too common. The CMP was established in, in 1903, just to put this in historical context, following the Spanish-American War when American militia uh, men, uh, demonstrated distressingly poor marksmanship. At that time, our nation needed a better trained and organized militia, and the CMP helped the government build a broader base of able citizen soldiers. Now, the program was an important component of our national defense back then. Today, Mr. Speaker, uh, over a century later, we have a professional military and many rifle clubs, and the CMP is, quite frankly, no longer needed. Congress clearly understood this when it, provide, when it uh, privatized the CMP in 1996. Now, as an initial uh, capital investment, at a time when earmarks was still common, Congress provided the newly chartered uh, corporation with a stock of rifles, ammunition, and, uh, and other spare parts. The CMP uh, could sell the surplus equipment, mostly M1 uh, uh, Garand rifles, in order to fund its activities until it became self-sufficient. However, it was never Congress's intent to equip the, the CMP with handguns, or it would have provided the corporation with surplus M1911A1 45 caliber pistols at that time. Now, more than two decades later, the CMP is running out of rifles to sell. The reality is that it is in dire financial straits, as more than uh, 20 years later, the program is still reliant on rifle sales to support its activities. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, it, it is clearly not the taxpayer's responsibility to bail out the, uh, the CMP. Uh, to do so would be an unprecedented government handout at a time when earmarks have been banned for years. So what makes this program, what makes the, this so special? There really is, there is none. Beyond this, uh, it would uh, flower our streets with handguns, the guns that are most often used by criminals. And I believe this would be extremely dangerous. When uh, more than two uh, years ago, the first attempt was made to uh, effectuate this earmark, I heard the argument that storing surplus pistols A handout is not the answer. Uh, there is no national security reason to put these guns on our In fact, an increase in the number of handguns will only result uh, potentially in, in more violence. So, Mr. Speaker, we should allow the Army to dispose of these pistols by melting them down as it plans to do with other surplus arms. Senate language in the NDAA exempts 1911A1 pistols uh, from Army disposal. But I urge my colleagues to support the motion to instruct the conferees uh, to reject this exemption. There's no reason to store these pistols, and there is no reason to flood our streets with them. There's no, uh, they, uh, there's no reason to give an earmark, again, to a private uh, corporation. They should be melted down and repurposed uh, for other military uses, which is exactly what this motion supports. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I reserve the balance of my time.